good morning from the yarn closet in Tucson, Arizona. I'm Laura, um, yarn closet AZ for Arizona on Instagram. Um, I share Moggy Kitty with my mom over on Ravelry. Some of you may have seen her last year in a series of videos. Um, and we have a blog over on Patreon, The Yarn Closet. They are changing their structure and taxation and all this stuff. I have been thinking long and hard about it. Um, we are jumping into our second year anniversary in July. And I've decided to remove all tiers in Patreon except the $1 tier because there are a number of free patterns over there for download crochet patterns, knit patterns, loom knit patterns, what to do with a sock tube. There's going to be flat knitting machine patterns. Um, so you can join for a dollar a month. You can, because that tier is available, you can click into it and start going along and you can just donate a flat fee one time. Um, if you want to support the patterns if you want to support the quarterly gifts which are Ravelry patterns, um, Ravelry gift certificates for patterns or gift certificates with um, yarn dyers, online gift certificates. I no longer have the ability to ship out things uh, so that's where we are shifting. There's going to be noise, people. There's going to be a lot of it. Join my life. I now wear earplugs, like, all the time. This is aromatherapy. There's essential oil in here. I need it. I need everything I can get. I put my shield in my room for this. Oh, my God. Okay. Everything I can get. Um, so that's where we're going. Am I... Podcasts are going to be less frequent just because two kids homeschooled as of August 1st. Um, I love you. Hi, closet fans. Don't don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe and like our video. And, and look with your heart it. first. And look with your heart first. Good job, Prudence. Ah. Okay. And comment on our videos. We love it when you share 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 your comments with us. We do. And feel free to email over at theyarncloset at yahoo.com. Uh, the same email is over on pay PayPal if you want to contribute there. But the reason that I started this was because it was something my son wanted to get involved with and see how it actually functions to be a podcaster. Um, and... To, to Mom, grow this little corner. Guess what I'm going to do for Connor? I'm going to make him a love card for him. Thank you. A um, what? Shh. Away. Away. I only need 15 minutes. Okay. Can we not have quiet for Mom for we 15 can. minutes? We can. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We're all there. I get it. <clears throat> But anyway, um, I'm housebound. I've been housebound for years and years. Um, I'm legally blind. So is my mom. So I've actually raised two kids, found a third husband while being housebound. So life is possible, people, when you are stuck at home. Okay? They can deliver your groceries. Amazon can deliver you everything else that you need. Um, there are challenges. So stop being a wussy and understand you can have a life when you are potentially at home. I asked you people to be quiet. I don't want conversation in the background. If you're going to be in this room, you are going to be quiet. Thank you. So that means no talking prudence, right? Thank you. So anyway, that's already shifted. The only tier available is a dollar on Patreon. You can follow for free. Um, <laughs> depending on how things progress over the next year, who knows, if I can find a different platform that allows me to do the same kind of digital downloads and 
live streams without having to be like like signing up with your email and stuff that seems to limit people um, because I do like my core group of people who are like me and are housebound and we like to connect and we email frequently and we comment and stuff um, it means a lot uh, I only have my mom and one other lady and if they got COVID and died no one would text me no one would call me and that's not what most of you are experiencing in your lockdown lives so understand that you can do this you've got the strength just figure it out and stop focusing on the negative look with your heart first and that includes to yourself to the people in your household and to your situations um, and sometimes that means you got to try stuff and I'm also turning 49 in September and realizing that as a woman we and a mom we oftentimes put ourselves last um, it's hard because that me time business doesn't always do much of anything for you but you know what I've learned I've learned that buying the banana nut muffins and only eating the top to the point where my husband's like who's doing this and I'm like uh, I am so you get the bottom you know what that's okay it's totally okay mm -hmm. spending the little bit on this flat knitting machine is okay because it allows me to knit and do certain things that I couldn't do in hand knitting, um, have some productivity, but also I'm only knitting a couple hours a day. Um, it's giving me more time to focus on the kids and, and the other things, to have time with my husband. We have really reaped the benefits of more conversation, um, And just general companionship in our house um, my kids are playing a lot more with each other I love that we're doing a lot more old-fashioned toys that build up eye-hand coordination and you know fine motor skills um, so we're trying to focus in on all the positives so today I just wanted to talk about that shift a little bit about that show some more of the stuff because look at what I just finished Bam! Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Get a Kleenex. You know, you can do this. I like it. You can do this. That's talking. I'm oh, sorry. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like it more than I thought I was going to like it. Um. I really kind of like it more than I thought I was gonna like it. So we have this. I, you know, have showed you some of these things. The headband, this little wonky hat, but I learned how to do some crown decreases on the machine. Um, look at you this. Have a wonky hat? Yeah, come here. I'll put it on you, you can. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, go. Um, look at this. Three skeins, an asymmetrical shawl. I gradiated the hand dyed skeins. I mean, that's huge. And the wonderfulness is it didn't take weeks and weeks and weeks. And I might put some, uh, I need to cut some of these ends I already wove in. I might put some uh, tassels on the ends. I haven't decided. Um, this lovely boxy sweater. This sleeve is just a smidge tight, so I'm gonna take it off and I may hand knit it or flatten it, I can't decide. Because I didn't quite love the way I'm seaming. My seaming is going to improve. My mattress stitch is going to improve. By the way, that first multicolored um, thing was 
just a cake, a lime bread cake. Um, the headband was cot linen over on Knit Picks. This is Knit Picks Superwash, um, Will of the Andes. Mama, you heard of my Knit Picks show. It's a little girl that doesn't like vegetables. Okay. And, and she doesn't eat vegetables, but then Fizzy is a good, healthy food guy, and there's two kids, and one is a boy, like Connor, and one's a girl, like me. Can you tell me more later? And this is Tabby Cat from Stranded Dye Works. And this is Two Skeins of Lolo did it. And this is a smaller symmetrical shawl that I did on a flat knitting machine. Guess what? This took less than an hour. <laughs> as long as you don't have any problems. And there are problems. And if you want to do stuff that's more extensive, you have to have understanding of knitting. You have to have um, understanding of yarn. So this is a lovely poncho with some ribbing and cables. I mean, people, cables. What is it? I love it. Um, and look on the other side. And I'm gonna do some texture stuff. You're conversating. Conversating. I'm gonna do. Shush. I asked you to not talk if you were in this room. That's not an excuse. If you want to tell him about the specifics, you two go in a different room. Connor, follow her into a different room so she can explain her card to you. Why do they always say, but? Why do they always talk back? I understand that what you said, but this is my reason for doing what I'm doing, so it's okay. No, just because you have a reason does not mean it's okay. Life lesson, people. Oh my God. So anyway, um, here is a Nora George sock yarn that I'm doing in a long rectangle. Oy. And this is the pattern inspiration. Okay, long rectangle. I'm gonna seam right here, so there's gonna be a neck opening. So then what you have to understand is that Okay, so if you seam back here flat, and then you have a neck opening, you're going to have this rectangle across the front. Um, but you can also shift it to have slightly different point dimensions, high-low kind of thing. So it'll be very similar to the tube that I did, but just seeming in a different place. And I wanna see how that works out. Um, because right now, as much as I am a process knitter, I'm also a product knitter. I like to figure out, and I like to figure out this machine, and I'm trying to figure out things that, because I'm a gifter, I like to gift my stuff. Um, I'm trying to figure out things that are gonna be useful in my climate. You know, I'm a knitter in Tucson, good gravy, people. And, okay, go. I need some time. I'm just hugging you. I know, and I appreciate that. Um. So I talked about the stuff. Um, so yeah, there you go. I mean, I'm really enjoying this. Um, I can't wait to really dig into and learn this and I'm holding back from buying all the gadgets and I'm just trying to dig in and learn this and figure things out. Um, I'm still doing some hand knitting. Um, I've got some like wrist warmers that I'm knitting up right now. I've got to weave in these ends. I didn't love this, how that turned out. I don't think the yarn really showed off well in the short little bit of rib, but whatever, you know, sometimes that's what we have. Um, 
and he's outside smoking. So I'm also, you know, now that everybody's home all the time, you feel kind of like, like all of a sudden your space is less or something. So I'm trying to figure out ways to clear things out, which is also a challenge because like nobody else seems to be as bothered by it as I am, but nobody else is legally blind. They don't get how challenging it is for me to keep a really stocked pantry or really stocked freezers or, um, you know, they, they just don't get it. So the next thing that I'm on to doing is I'm going to crank a bunch of sock tubes. I mean, probably, well, let me just look. I will probably crank two dozen sock tubes um, and then I'm going to consider selling my circular sock machine from Earl Hart, Earl Bacher Gerhart because I've had it two, two, two and a half years now and I don't use it really as much as I thought I would. I find the gauge of it, so the gauge of my flat machine is like a 6.5 millimeter gauge, okay? The gauge on a sock machine is more like a 2.25 gauge. So the needles are very are much smaller. Um, it's harder for me to, to see the work because it's inside and to catch when I'm having mistakes. Where on this, because I don't have a ribber attachment, when you have a ribber attachment on a flat machine, you have a knitting machine and a flat machine. And, and they're kind of angled so that the work goes down between the two. With just the one machine, I can see the knitting as it goes. So if, I can, if I'm really, can see it, like it's hard to see errors on this Nord George because of the patterning of the yarn. But because the knitting machine allows me to do other things, I can use a lot of solid colors that would bore me to hand knit. And but I can I can see this stuff where it's harder and I can fix the mistakes. It's harder for me to do that with the circular sock machine. Um so I'm going to crank a bunch of tubes and then I'm most likely going to list it for sale by the end of the summer, uh, the beginning of fall. I need to tell you something. Okay. Yes, but... <coughs> Do you need to interrupt me really right now? No, I don't, but I need to tell you this. Okay. I checked in my room and if Tanya was in my room everywhere, but she wasn't there and it and Connor said he wasn't in. Tanya wasn't Candy in Candy is there. in Connor's room. And I said so. Yeah, but that's okay. He doesn't always have to believe you. It doesn't matter. You can know that you are right. Um. Oh my gosh. So anyway, I'm gonna list it. I'm like 95% sure I'm gonna list it, and I will list it on possibly a Ravelry group and, no, and a Ravelry group and a Facebook group. Um, so that's the deal. So if you're interested, send me a message. Hey, Connor, Candy is in your room. Please be nice to your sister and go apologize so she stops crying. She's not crying. Yeah, she is. Girls, man, girls. So the flat machine has really helped. It's helped give me more time with the kids. It's helped give me some satisfaction of my hobby. It's helped, helped me feel accomplished in getting these things all just cranked out. I mean, I've had the thing not even a month. Um, and I've had a lot of mistakes and a lot of frogging 
Um, and I like the fact that this cone yarn is a lot cheaper than the hand dyed. I love hand dyed and I will always get the occasional hand dyed, but I like being able to use less expensive yarns. Um, that is one thing when I used to crochet is that I would use the less expensive acrylic because I predominantly did blankets um, or cottons where I did purses or like fruit bags or market bags. And I produced an awful lot more within a year because I didn't feel guilty about just, just using up that inexpensive yarn. I've come to feel guilty about acrylic because acrylic doesn't go away. Yes, it can burn, but it's, it's kind of like plastic. So I do like using more the natural fibers. Um, <clears throat> And I can find them much more inexpensive on the cones and with the machine, because it's the 6.5 millimeter, I'm actually able to use everything from a fingering weight up through a worsted. If I go every other needle, I can do like a light Aran, maybe an Aran weight with a successful gauge. Um, and so, that's where I'm at right now, people, and I'm loving it, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. I hope your summers are going well, and your time with your kids is going very well, and I encourage you to look with your heart first. <laughs>